Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing the Mobile Suit Gundam Wing Endless Waltz OVA series. Many people probably didn't even know there was a sequel OVA series to Gundam Wing. Since I'm watching all the Gundam series, I decided to watch this one as well. This OVA series starts a year after the events of Gundam Wing. With times being peaceful now, the characters decide to fire their mobile suits into the sun and get rid of all the powerful weapons. However, the daughter of Trey's appears and plans to rule over the world. The Gundam pilots decide to retrieve their Gundams for one last fight. It may sound good to see a sequel of a classic anime series you like so much, but this OVA series really felt unnecessary. If I had never watched this OVA series, it wouldn't feel like I'd be missing out on much. It was nice seeing all the characters again, but the plot for this OVA series was so boring. It was basically a spoiled girl trying to take over the world with such a cliche motivation. She simply wanted power control. She thinks pacifism is bad, yet her answer to everything is having everyone follow her command. That's not really a good alternative. I hate seeing her face and hearing her annoying voice. I did like that this OVA series provide great information about the past of each gun and pilot. We got to learn more about them and how they end up becoming the person they are now. The information about the true purpose of Operation Meteor was also interesting to learn about. But besides that, the plot was pretty boring. The characters had to spend much time getting back the Gundams. Then there was pointless talks about ideals and how the world should be. And the way the annoying antagonist suddenly changed her mind was just too sudden and random. It's like really? She was so arrogant and annoying all throughout the series. And then she suddenly changed her mind just because she was slapped? How does that make sense? Characters don't just change after a slap. The fights in the series were decent, but nothing really special. The only notable new character in the series was that annoying female antagonist. The music throughout the fight scenes was pretty good. The image style looked the same as the original anime, which is good. And the animation looked good during the fight scenes. I would only recommend watching this OVA series if you plan to watch every Gundam series. Otherwise, this OVA series didn't really add much value to Gundam Wing. I give this OVA series a 6 out of 10. So that's all I'm going to talk about for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.